That's good to know. So if your score is way more than that, are there ways to lower it? Oh, absolutely. That's the good news. That's the good news of the kind of metabolic um, message here, that you can take people who are so insulin resistant, high insulin, and the insulin isn't working well, that now their glucose has gone to the range of type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. We published a report, a clinical report, a couple years ago, finding we'd taken 11 people who had just been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, which, Mm. again, is just extreme insulin resistance. And within 90 days, without ever having popped a single pill, no injection, like all these GLP-1 drugs, which you know are all the rave these days, and I know all about them, mm. um, never, no drug taken, and within 90 days, the disease was completely gone. Wow. Type 2 diabetes is a disease of diet. The food we eat is the culprit or the cure. We've just been giving all, we've been given all of the worst possible advice when it comes to diet. Yeah. The diet that we eat globally and the advice we've been given globally is a perfect way to promote type 2 diabetes. Absolutely. I used to really fear diseases growing up, but mm-hmm. the more I talk to people like you, the more I get hope that it's, it's really preventable. Oh, yeah. Completely. But most, but even then, like your grandpa, when he was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, the clinical team would have told him in some way, shape, or form, this is an irreversible disease. Because the standard of care is to give him drugs. Mm. The problem with so many of these so-called anti-diabetic drugs is that they are focused on the glucose. Right. And so they're just saying this is a disease of glucose. That even the clinician has no awareness of the insulin. They mm. might not have even measured the insulin in your grandpa or any other mm-hmm. type 2 diabetic. They say glucose is the only thing that matters. Even if we have to push the insulin up, which many of the drugs do, mm. then we'll push the glucose down. And if the if glucose were the main variable that mattered most, you would think they're going to live a better, longer life. Right. And it doesn't happen. There's no clinical evidence to support that if you push glucose down by bringing insulin further up, that they live longer. In wow. fact, the more you have to push the insulin up in order to control the glucose, this is human evidence. They're three times more likely to die from heart disease. Holy Twice crap. as likely to get Alzheimer's disease. Twice as likely to die from cancer. Jeez. When you give a type 2 diabetic insulin, you are literally giving them more of the very thing that's killing them. It, they have too much insulin in their body already, and too much insulin is the main cause of insulin resistance. Mm. And now you're pushing it up even higher. That's like giving an alcoholic another glass of wine <laughs> and hoping it's going to solve their alcoholism. You are literally killing them faster by putting them on an insulin-based therapy. You're pushing the insulin up even higher, and that's what's making them fat and sick. It's not the mm. glucose. That's so ironic because there's millions of people on these. Oh, it's a hell of a way to make a lot of money, depending on where you're coming from. Right, because they they got to take them every day, right? Oh, every day. But that's why they say the disease is irreversible. Mm. Because if you go the standard of care, which is drug-based, you'll never get off the drug. Right. You'll only need more and more dose and more and more medications. And before you know it, you're on seven medications to treat one problem. So that being said, you think diabetes can be reversed? Oh, I've literally published papers on it. Wow. Um, so f- absolutely 100%. Type 2 diabetes, mind you. I'm ta- yeah. We're talking type 2, not type 1, which is an autoimmune disease. There's no way to reverse that. Um, type 2, absolutely reversible. Uh, anyone who tells you otherwise is so steeped in the clinical dogma mm. that they can't get their head out of, out wow. of it. Wow. We've literally published papers, um, and uh, there, are, there are entire clinics and practices that are based on doing just this. Mm. I think people have been so conditioned, so programmed, hearing that it's non-reversible. Even myself, yeah. I, I, I had no idea that you could reverse. Well, Sean, I'm glad to give you even more good news. Yeah, that's great news, because yeah. there's a lot of people getting diabetes right now, oh, too. And again, globally. 